All right, what's up guys? Uh, welcome back to Technique Matters. I'm JJ and what we're gonna do today is to talk about the lat engagement in the bench press. I know we've previously spoken about this and it's great to see everyone actually taking our suggestion on and taking our cues on and taking our tips on and actually trying it in your bench press. However, we still see a lot of people uh, doing this wrong and what we're gonna help you with today is to explain to you and actually clarify how to do this even better so you get a more efficient bench press all right and the issue that we're going to look at today is the tucking of the elbows to create that lat engagement which we believe is not optimal for the bench press so it's very common in power in powerlifting and the start you'll hear this a lot in powerlifting where to engage your lats you need to squeeze something between your armpits and so a lot of people have been conditioned in their lat training to think about squeezing their armpits together or actually sort of bringing the elbow close towards the body. If you look at it from a position of trying to do a dumbbell bench press and as well as the anatomical function of your pectoral muscles, which are the main muscles that should be used in a bench press, you will see that your pectorals are actually internal rotators of your humerus, right? And what this also looks like in training is when you do a dumbbell bench press, you don't tuck your elbows and then try to sort of press with your elbows in this position. And this is one of the reasons why all of your accessory work are not transferring over to using your lats well in the bench press. If you're not tucking your elbows excessively in a dumbbell bench, why is it that when you go to a barbell bench, you feel the need to excessively sort of externally rotate your elbows and tuck it in? This is the wrong approach to thinking about the lat engagement in the bench press. So what we're trying to help you figure out today is how to position right as well as what kind of accessory exercises that can be used to help you to feel this muscle engagement more specifically in a way that transfers well over to your bench press. So in the case of selecting your accessory exercises that are specific for this carryover to the lats and in the bench press, what we want to do is actually go against the grain of conventional lat training where, it's, where people tend to tuck and pull towards them, right? So what we want to do is actually think about doing your accessories in a way where we have that same grip on the bench press with the elbows, specifically the pointy tip or the olecranon pointing outwards. So we'll be able to, in a sense, flare our elbows when we are rowing or even pressing and then what we'll be able to do is as we sort of bring them, as we sort of move towards the bar or the weight, we are still trying to maintain that position and really use our lats as well as a bit of our serratus to keep the scaps securely on the ribcage and then move through that full range of motion. So what this allows you to do is actually create a lot more stability that is specific to the bench press. We don't believe that this is the best way to train if you are looking to get bigger back or bigger legs because you are effectively cutting the range of motion. But what we're trying to talk about here today is how do we use lat training that is specific to the bench press. So now that I've explained the problems as well as, as a possible sort of exercise selection and solutions to this issue, what I'm going to do is hand it over to Clinton and he will actually sort of coach Adam through some of the movements and how to do this right. Hi guys, this is Clinton and today I'm here with Adam to show you some of the exercises more specific to the whole barbell bench press movement for powerlifting. So if you have not checked out the videos on how to uh, get your shoulders and elbows in the right position for bench press, be sure to check out the rest of our bench series. Now we're going to jump straight into it. So uh, most of the time people assume and understand engaging lats by creating the squeeze squeezing your arms together motion. So, but this motion is not really very specific and easily carry over to a barbell bench because we advise people to bring the elbows out. But how do you feel the lats? So by doing this exercise in a modified way, it can help you improve that engagement. And then when you do the barbell bench, you understand what I mean already. Okay. All right. So I got Adam here. Adam's just going to do some chest or buttock rows. All right. Adam just going to grab the, the dumbbell. Just gonna show people how normally we do a chest supporter row by tucking our elbows in. Okay? Alright, let's go. Yep. So what's happening here is he's creating the motion that everybody knows how to do, which is to bring the elbows in. So when he pulls up and hold it there, you can feel a lot of recruitment and engagement over here. Okay? Okay, put it down. 
But what we are doing here is something different. We're going to do a modified chest supported row where we try to keep our shoulders down while bringing our elbows out. So in that way, you can actually feel the lats as well. So trust me, when you try this exercise, you'll get to know. All right, Adam. Okay, so first what I need to do, yes, get into the position. Grab the dumbbell. The next thing you want to do, right, is to try and create a little bit of thoracic extension so you chest up a bit, okay? When you create this chest up, it's much easier for you to perform all these exercises because you have better range of motion to bring your shoulders down. Okay, this is step number one. Once you get this done, you want to think about bringing your elbows, the pointy butt, the pointy part facing outwards and then we roll. Let's go. Alright, so as you can see here, he's no longer keeping the elbows inwards. Bring it in. Okay, he's trying to bring it out. Okay, and then you go, go down. Can you feel your legs, Adam? Yep. Alright, so let's go a few more. Alright, so I'm putting my hand here to make sure his shoulders don't come up. Okay, we're going to do a few more. One, correct. And then two. So you can see this meaty part over here is engaging his legs. Alright, you can put it down. Thank you, Adam. Yeah, so this is one modified way of doing a horizontal pull. You can definitely uh, do other exercises like cable rows. I would recommend you to do a wide grip cable row because it's really trying to adopt the bench grip. So when you're doing a wide grip cable row, adopt the bench grip. Same thing, keep your shoulders down, create a bit of thoracic extension, meaning chest up position, and then try to roll towards your sternum. Okay, same goes for a much more complex and advanced exercise, which is the pen lay rows. You can use that as well. But if you cannot keep your shoulders in place, which is keeping it down, I would rather you to do this very simple chest supported modified exercise. Okay, yeah. So likewise, other than the pen lay rows, you can also use the machine rows, any kind of horizontal rows to help you understand how you should maneuver your elbows to keep you in the more specific range of motion for the bench press. Okay, so these are all the horizontal pull. Let's move on to the vertical pull. Now we're going to talk more about the vertical pull. At Elevate, we don't really have any leg pull down machines. So Adam, who is pretty strong, we're just going to work on the pull up. All right, but you can definitely use a leg pull down machine, which is much easier for you to get into a position if you're not that strong. Okay, as a start. Okay, so let's talk about the pull ups. Adam, I'm just going to get you to perform some pull ups that we all know how to do it. All right. Okay, so shoulder width position, as he pulls, he tries to tuck the elbow in to get that lat engagement and he's creating a lot of range of motion to feel the lat muscles. Okay, you can put it, you can come down now. Alright, but the issue with doing the pull-ups in this way is you are not getting that range of motion like the bench press where you bring your elbows out. Okay, so now let's try this Adam, we're going to try and pull. Uh, the pull up with a slightly wider grip, okay, maybe some uh, two fingers closer to your normal bench grip. And then as we pull, before we start, we keep our chest up first, create that thoracic extension like we have mentioned in the horizontal pull. And then as you pull, try and imitate the motion where you're trying to bench, where you keep your elbows out, okay? Okay, okay let's go. How high do I pull? About the chin, that's it. That's a very good question, so we are not going to pull all the way up. Just gonna keep it, okay? I'm just gonna keep you still. All right. So chest up first, shoulders down. All right. Notice the change in position, and then it's gonna pull, keeping your elbows out. Okay. From here, I want you to slow down the descent. Okay. Let's do a couple more. So pull up to the chin. His body is still slightly lean back like that. Okay. And then the most important part of this exercise is when you descend, you can actually feel the whole lats trying to hold your body weight. Okay. Put it down. Okay. All right. So basically, when you perform a vertical pull in this uh, manner, you not only train the leg muscles, you also help to improve that leg engagement, more specific to the bench press. So once again, this is a more modified pull up. Lah. So you can obviously do it with a leg pull down or any sort of machine vertical pull. Okay, all right. So this is all we have. I'm back here to the classic old school setup. And what I want to say, once again, in summary, for this video, what we are trying to teach you how to do is to create that correct leg engagement. So I understand that most, most of you guys are clueless about how to engage the legs while keeping your elbows out. So this video will definitely help you. So by doing all the exercises, the modified exercises, be it horizontal or vertical pull, we have give you an example and I want you guys to try and experience and see if you guys can feel the legs while, while performing this way. The most important thing when doing all these exercises is very simple. Two things. Number one, always keep your shoulders down. Your job 
is to maintain it and as you pull you want to reach a level where your shoulder starts to come up you stop okay so that's the range of motion you want to work with be it a horizontal or vertical pull and also when you are pulling it you make sure your elbow stays outwards your elbows are pointing out instead of tucking it in so the challenge for you is how well can i bring my elbows from a tuck position to an outward position without raising my shoulders up so this is a task for you and an objective when you're doing your accessory exercises especially for the lats and this is all i have and i hope you guys enjoy what we have for you today if you do please feel free to share it to those in need and then i'll see you again goodbye